Welcome to Omega Open Course. In the last video of this series, we discussed constraint relation in two block systems with single string. In this video, we'll discuss about two block systems with two strings. The basic idea still remains the same. The length of the string has to remain constant. You just have to check for both the strings separately. For example, consider this situation. For better identification, let us color the two strings differently. Now let us move the block on the left by distance x. Since the length of the red string has to remain constant, the smaller pulley must have moved down exactly by distance x. But when the pulley moves down, it releases blue strings on both of its sides. These strings must be consumed by the block on the right. Therefore, the block on the right must move by 2x. Hence, the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the block on the right is twice the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the block on the left. Consider another example. Let us first change the color of the two strings. Now move the block on the right by x. This will bring pulley 1 down by x. So the pulley will need x length of string on its both sides. But only way to get that much of string is to pull the pulley 2 down by 2x. But pulley 2 also needs red strings on both its sides. So the total length of string the pulley 2 needs is 4x. So the block on the right will have to move up by distance 4x. Hence, the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the block on the left must be 4 times the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the block on the right. Consider another example. Let us move the block on the left by distance x. It will pull both the red and green string down by distance x. The red string is connected directly to the pulley. So the pulley will move up by distance x. The pulley will pull the green string on both its sides by distance x. So the bigger block consumes x length of green string while the pulley consumes 2x length of the string. All this string must be provided by the smaller block on the left. Therefore the smaller block must move up by 3x. Thus the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the smaller block is 3 times the magnitude of displacement, velocity and acceleration of the bigger block. I hope this video helps you understand constant relation of two block systems with two strings. In the next video we will discuss two block systems with three strings. The string constant cannot be learned properly unless you solve a large number of questions on it. Unfortunately, in the books available in the market, the questions of a string constant or motion constant are scarce and scattered. To resolve this problem, we have prepared a mini book which focuses entirely on a string constant and motion constant. This book explains a string constant using several illustrated examples. It also explains different methods used to write constant relations, like by inspection, through concept of approach and separation velocity, using conservation of energy, and by writing constant equations. It consists of about 200 questions of string constant and motion constant, ranging from very preliminary questions to pretty advanced ones, along with hints and solutions. No matter at what stage of preparation you are, this book is very helpful. You can buy this book from Amazon. The links are given in the descriptions below. Subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification when we upload a new video. Thank you for watching.